Welcome to Watch Like a Kid, a podcast where we watch your kid shows so you don't have to. We are your hosts, Diane and Gabrielle. So come, be a kid with us. Gabby, I just finished watching what I think has the potential to be a really solid show for teens. It's Netflix's new Dead Boy Detectives. And I know, it's a pretty stupid name. But the characters also admit that it's a stupid name. It's a brand new show on Netflix, eight episodes for its first season. They range about 50, 55 minutes long, and they're jam-packed full of entertainment. I guess let's dive into the show a little bit. It starts off in London with the two dead boys, Edwin Payne and Charles Rowland. They've known each other for several decades and are the best of mates. They started the Dead Boys Detective Agency in order to help other ghosts pass on to the afterlife while solving unresolved issues. That means after they solve a case, those two boys have to skedaddle because the thing that is death comes for whatever ghost they've helped and death is on the lookout for those two boys because they are not where they belong. So much so that in season one, they catch the eye of a certain person that works in the lost and found department in the afterlife, which focuses on finding children ghosts, teenage ghosts, and helping them into their afterlife. And that person is played by none other than Ruth Connell. I know you haven't really watched Supernatural, Gabby, but Ruth Connell is a pretty big deal in that show. I mean, she's an absolute icon. So when I saw her pop up in this show, I knew I was in for a good time. She's on the hunt for the dead boy detectives and she cannot seem to catch a break. And I don't wanna give out any spoilers or anything, but let's just say her character finds herself down in the deep blue sea. The show in general kind of gives off supernatural vibes, but a little more lighthearted, not as much darkness going on, but still maintaining some heavy topics without becoming too dark. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The two dead boys are perfectly fine working together when they find a very, how do I say, a live partnership with a psychic who is also American. The duo becomes a trio and soon enough they find themselves in America in a place called Port Towns in Virginia and my oh my, mayhem ensues. There's an immortal witch, a guy called the Cat King. Lots of haunted ghosts. And did I mention that their new friend, Crystal, you know, the alive psychic American? Yeah, her ex-boyfriend is a demon who used to possess her. Oh, yeah, his name is David. David the Demon. Pretty creative, right? The show is most definitely geared towards a little bit of an older audience, I would say 16 and up, just because there is a, a decent amount of gore uh, blood played up so you know that it's fake, but it still can be kind of dark and jarring at times. Uh, the show also deals with sexuality, bullying, uh, abuse, murder at times, and of course, death in general. It's still very much a teenage show. I wouldn't say it gets as dark as a Supernatural or a Daredevil or a lot of those other comic to TV kind of shows. They're kind of like the mystery gang if they were dead and kind of dark and had some major baggage and they don't have a dog. It's more like cats that talk. Okay, maybe there really isn't much to compare it to. I'm really hoping it gets renewed for a second season. Netflix, please, please let TV shows grow a bit. Now I've already come to terms with the fact that I'll probably have to live with the cliffhanger that season one ends on and the show probably won't get renewed for a season two based on viewership right now. But I'm really hoping that we get at least one more season so we can learn a little bit more about these detectives, what they've gone through more in the past. We've only learned little snippets of Crystal and her drama. Oh right, David the Demon took all of her memories, by the way. She's only just getting them back. As always, we're here to watch your kids' shows so you don't have to. If you have any other questions about the show before your child starts watching it, drop us a comment and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. 
Gabby, I already know this isn't a TV series you're going to be watching, so my question to you is, got any good movie recommendations for us? That's not a unicorn. That's just a pony with pink hair.